Hello and welcome to WP Forms. In today's video, we're going to learn all about and how to use the Get Response add-on by WP Forms. With the Get Response add-on, you can easily add new subscribers to your mailing list by connecting your site's forms to your Get Response account. You can select which email list and segment you'd like to add new subscribers to, offering you tons of flexibility over how you want to manage your list. With that said, let's get right to it. After logging in and installing the WP Forms plugin, we'll first need to install and activate the Get Response add-on. We can do this by going to WP Forms, Add-ons, and finding the Get Response add-on. Click Install Add-on and wait for the status to change to active. Now that the add-on has been activated, we can click on the Settings tab on the left side and then click on the Integrations tab. On this page, you'll see a list of all of your active and available integrations, including Get Response. Click on the Get Response option to expand it and view its settings. You'll see the following two fields, Get Response API key and Get Response account nickname. To find the API key, open a new tab and log into your Get Response account. Click on Menu at the top of the page and then click on Integrations and API. Click on the API option to open the API key settings. On this page, you should see your key. Click on the Copy button to copy it to your clipboard and tab back to your WordPress website. Paste the key into the API key field and then fill out the Get Response Account nickname field. This can be anything you want since it's for your internal reference only. When you're done, click on the Connect to Get Response button. If the connection was successful, you should see a green Connected status next to the integration. Now that we've connected our Get Response account to WP Forms, Let's go into the Form Builder to add the integration to our form. Click on the Add New button to go into the Form Builder. Once the builder has been loaded, click on the Marketing tab on the left and select the Get Response option. There you'll see a blue button called Add New Connection. When you click on it, a pop-up will appear asking you to provide a nickname for this connection. This will be for your internal use only, so you can name it whatever you want. Afterwards, you'll be able to select the Get Response account you'd like to connect this form to and an action to perform. The first action to perform is Subscriber, Create, or Update. This action will add new subscribers to your Get Response list or update them. When you select this action, a few additional settings will appear. Any settings with an asterisk will be required. In the first dropdown, you'll be able to select the specific Get Response list you'd like to connect this form to. In the Subscriber email field, You'll select the form field that will contain the user's email address. You'll do the same but for the user's first and last name in the subscriber name dropdown. In the Tags to Add field, you'll be able to select any existing Get Response tags you'd like to add to the subscribers created through this form. In the New Tags to Add field, you can type in any new tags that you'd like to create in Get Response and add to subscribers created through this form. And finally, in the Day of Cycle field, you can write in the day on which the contact is in the autoresponder cycle in GetResponse. In the section below, you can also map any custom fields you've added to your GetResponse account. In the Custom Field Name column, you'll select the custom field in GetResponse and then choose the corresponding field in the Form Field Value column. You can also enable conditional logic for this integration so that the user will only be added to your list if they make a certain selection or fill in a particular field in your form. The next action to perform is Subscriber, Unsubscribe. This setting is fairly straightforward in that it will remove users from your Get Response list if they fill out and submit this form. This only has two settings, both of which are required. You'll select the specific list you'd like to connect this form to, and then select the form field that will contain the user's email address. Once the form is submitted, this particular email address will be removed from your mailing list. And just like before, you can enable conditional logic here so that the user will only be unsubscribed if they meet certain criteria. When you're done, save your changes and go ahead and test the connection by submitting a test entry. Afterwards, log into your Get Response account to view the newly added subscriber to your mailing list. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to use the Get Response add on by WP Forms. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Hey everybody, this is Daisy with WP Forms. 
Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel where I can show you how to build smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.